Hello. I pray that you are well today. In this second day of our prayer challenge, I hope that as you listened yesterday, maybe you have prayed yourself empty. You've given to God everything that concerns you and bothers you and gives you joy, and you pour out your heart before God, even as you pray his scripture. Today, I want to talk to you about intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer is praying for other people, the people that God has placed in your life by divine appointment. Some of those people you've chosen, you yourself have chosen them. And some of those people have been chosen by God himself. And we have a ministry, a responsibility to them, to pray for them, to bring them up before the Lord. But I want you to think about four people particularly today. And I want you to consider praying for them. When I say these words, I wonder who comes to mind. Maybe if you're so inclined, you have a piece of paper and a pencil in front of you. And even as, as I'm speaking, you simply write down their name. And then when we're done with this, you take some time to pray for them. The first person I want you to pray for is the person, when you say, when I say these words, who comes to your mind first? This person is alone. In these last 11 months, they've been more alone than they have been previous 11 months. In the last 11 months, they have had less interaction with people, less contact with people, less conversations, less individuals interacting with them. And I pray not only do you reach out to them, but that you pray for them, that you encourage them. Who is the most alone person in your life? I know who I'm thinking of, the people in my life that I'm concerned about that seem like they have suffered because they are alone. Please pray for them. Pray for those who are alone. This is connected, but maybe a little different. As I say these words, who comes to your mind? Who is hurting? Who's the person who's hurting the most in your life? Maybe, maybe they had an incredible loss. Maybe someone has gone to heaven Maybe someone has lost their job. Maybe someone has had a, a terrible dissolution of a relationship. Maybe someone has had broken dreams and, and plans that fell apart. Whatever it is, whatever the hurt is, who's hurting? Who comes to your mind? Who's that person who truthfully has a, a spiritual, emotional, maybe a physical wound? Please pray for them. And what about a prodigal? A person who used to follow God, who used to trust him, who used to believe in him, who used to see themselves through the eyes of God and now they do not. And they are on a path that's not going toward God. Maybe it's going away from him. Who's a prodigal that you love? Maybe someone dear and close to you that you wish they would just know their life through the eyes of what God has for them. Who is that person in your life praying for a prodigal? And then the fourth, what's an impossible situation? A circumstance that maybe you've already thrown up your hands and said, oh, it's an, there's no use. Nothing's going to change. I, I challenge you to pray these four prayers for these four people. Who is alone? Who is hurting? Who is a prodigal? And what's an impossible situation? God has said to us, Pray that we can pray for one another. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. That we can pray for one another. God gives us a ministry, not just pray for ourselves, but for other people. Intercessory prayer. Can I encourage you at least today to pray for those four people? Those four people by name. Please consider that our ministry to other people is to bring their, noise, their name, their life, their aloneness, their hurt, their prodigalness, their impossibility as far as a human is concerned before the presence of Almighty God. God has said to us that we can approach his throne of grace and receive mercy to find help, of, find help in our time of need. And we can cast all our cares on him because he cares for us. That we as we pray... We pray for others. You have a ministry. I have a ministry every day, not just to know about prayer, but to pray. Please, say their names. Say their names to God. 
Say the name of the one who is alone. Say the name of the one who is hurt. Say the name of the one who is a prodigal. Say the name of the one who is in the midst of an impossibility. Say those names before God. Please pray with me. Lord God, you know our lives and you know those who are, who are alone, who are in pain. You know those who hurt, who are wounded. You know those who are far from you in confusion or pride or arrogance or ignorance. You know, Lord God, those who are in seemingly an impossible situation. We give you thanks that you are able to do far more than we ask or think. Please, intervene for them as we intercede for them. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you this day. God's grace upon you and those you love.